predicted Mel. I, I like you, but stop with predictions. Chad and Gino, great team. <laughs> Chad should be on the show once a week. Your predictions are as good as Chad's act. This guy must do a lot of coke or something. I, I like him. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but he thinks I was trying to get Chad and Gino together for the lulls, you idiot. Stop taking everything so literally. They're like, he's publicly, he hasn't shut up and kept going. Oh my God, you think Chad and Gino would be good together? And I, I want to yell like, shut the fuck up and let this happen. And, well, and wait, he's so too dumb to get the bit. Yeah, it's a bit. You didn't of think course they wouldn't be good, be good together. It'd be hilarious shut though. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so wait, so you, you never thought so? it would be good. You just did it all as a bit. I say a million things is just yeah. a bit. He thinks everything's real. This is the internet. Get fucked. <laughs> yeah, but then how are we supposed to believe that package you got was not a bit? Which package? I think I gotta go. I think I gotta go. I've uh I've been served. I've been served. That's thick. That's a thick one. The uh, package exactly. might <laughs> I mean, picture. You look, it may be, it may be all a scam. Yeah. It may be all a scam. <laughs> What's going on? Mondays with Mazer. I mean, Mondays with Melton. <laughs> what the heck? We cheated. Oh. We're cheaters. We I'm don't here, play fair. I'm here to save the show. Yes. We need structure. <laughs> this show needs structure. That's what the potato said. He said we need structure. <laughs> May Melton will bring us some structure. He's got the sound effects. He's got confetti. Come on. What are you guys doing? You don't have structure. You know you don't. Why are you, you playing? No topics, nothing. No topics, no clips. Well, we do do a show on Memorial Day. Yes. I'd like to give a shout out to some of my past uh, sidekicks on Memorial <laughs> Day. Lenny, Brian, Jimmy Martinez. Vinny Brandt. Vinny Brandt was the what, definitely the worst stretch. About four weeks with Vinny Brandt. I didn't Brandt. know that happened. It was terrible. I used to go to his stupid club, and uh, he would go. He would be late to his own club, and then uh, and then we'd do a pretty mediocre show, and uh, Vinny would think it was great, and uh, I wish him well. The MLC, the hardest working men in podcasting. Yeah, is everybody else working today on a Monday? Bob, why are you begging for super chats uh, with drinking drinking games? It, that's worse than uh, Steel Toe does. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't beg for anything. They said you were. They said you were hey, doing. Hey, hey, who's they? They said you were doing shots. You were doing shots. If you got five dollars super chats. Well, who said Dick, that's a fucking like, Kevin? You can't believe these fucking people. What's oh, wrong I, with begging for super chats? But it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, oh on the BS God. show, you guys are doing shots no. for. And then we I saw a clip of Julie going, "We're going to make a lot of money today. We're going to get drunk." And then you were taking off your shirts. No, <laughs> come on, dude. I didn't take off my shirt. Yeah, but Mike Morse did. Yeah, but he's fat. He wants to show his tits. I don't know. One person. No, it would be like if we, if two out of three people did something, you'd be like, what are you talking about? Two out of three people were taking off clothes for money. Yeah, nobody did shots. Nobody, I wasn't doing shots. Yeah, but everybody else was, right? No, dude, they, they were drinking. If they got $5 super chat. No, not at all. Nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with that. Who yeah, else Kevin, telling you? Kevin made Ski Mask take liar. his mask off with for no super chats. That was for a free hundred, for a thousand. It was free. Yeah, I, I forgot. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> I forgot that uh, I didn't even pay him that much extra. I gave him a little extra because I was gonna. Because he ruined his whole brand for you. Yeah, you no, him, but I, you gave him you gave him extra walking around money. <laughs> Yeah, but I said you can pay. Uh, he owes. He owed uh, uh, the the little Stancil. other little guy Stancil yeah. money. So I said you can give this to the little guy if you want. 
and or and make them beg somewhere. I don't know. I don't like to get involved with other people's feuds. You know me. I try to stay above the fray. Melton's here. I'm melting on my melting on Monday. Uh, Man. Melton, what do you got? Okay, you want to plug the merch? Yeah, plug the merch. Where can they get it? MLCmerch.com. There's nine shirts. People hate them all, and they have yeah, better so. ideas. <laughs> Uh, but we'll be yeah. having new stuff as Kevin comes up with it. The two in the pink, one in the brown uh, from the other night is already oh. a shirt. <laughs> and uh, you can get it all right now at MLC. Where's the same two in the pink, one in the brown? It's the subway sign one with that two in the pink circle and the one in the brown circle. It took me a second to get that. Uh, but look, I, you got to make I did, it subtle. It was glorious. Yeah, yeah it was, you got to make it great. subtle. Well, you can't say you can't just say on the shirt two in the pink, one in the brown. That's uninspired, Kevin. That's why I'm handling uh, the merch. All right. Yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> please get a uh, please get a I am Eddie Baker shirt. I mean, I'm gonna buy that for myself. So because then people will get be confused by them. Be like, you're Eddie Baker, and why are you Eddie Baker? And why are you telling everybody that you're Eddie Baker? I am. A Speaking of Eddie Baker, I have a, I have a breaking news. Yeah, as, okay. uh, I have breaking news from Saturday night. Chad Zumach uh, was, how do I even say this? Mm. And I'm not going, Chad Chad was opening for Chad Prather. Do you know this guy, Melton? Isn't he one of the Blaze guys? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. but he's a comic, right? You got it. I guess, yeah. Anyway, Chad was uh, uh, opening for this guy. That's what Chad was bragging, that he was in a, side splitters uh uh what's what's the it's, it's chapel wesley right? chapel wesley, wesley chapel, chapel. Yeah. anyway he chad was opening for uh chad prather in wesley chapel side splitters they he was so drunk they wouldn't let him do the second show management no. wouldn't let him do the second show i no. have this from the most reliable source ever wow. not a guy named crank or or what was that guy's name who was who was uh went to see chad uh, when he when he couldn't do the second show because they got called out to do a private crank. Not no, it was it rhymed with skank. I think it was crank. Oh, the guy that <laughs> the guy that went to see him. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I remember that. So Chad was like, "Oh, hey, the one guy that that came to see me. Sorry, you missed me." This we're getting from literally Chad Prather is my source. Whoa. Chad wow. Prather said, "Chad, hi, Chad." Hi, Chad's, Hi, Chad's lawyer. lawyer. Hi, Chad's lawyer. Get a t-shirt called that. Hi, Chad's lawyer. It's just someone. Done. <laughs> Done. It'll Done. be in there by nightfall <laughs> on the West Coast. I'm, you're, you're, I'm going to be your best customer. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Chad uh, Chad Prather is my source. And he was saying that, uh, yeah, he, he told a pal of his, who's also a pal of mine, and Chad will all deny us, and then please sue me for defamation. But Chad Prather told my pal, who's also his pal, that they they were they the management would let it wouldn't let him do the second show. He was so he was so drunk. And, and that I never think, happened. I, that I never think that's happened. what happened. I think that's what happened that that gig with Florentine too. He, I I think Chad's been on like a two or three month bender, and uh, I think that's something to do with the, the with the one that that gig that Skank saw. Or Stank or Shank, maybe Shank, maybe is his name. Anywho, so that's that's my one uh, big uh, uh, news item for today. We're doing topics today. Chad was too drunk to do a Saturday second show. Can you believe it? I can. Yeah, and but clubs never. I've seen comedians fucked up and do it. That he must have been totaled. Totaled. And then he yeah, said, one, he, one then time he said I was, was so hammered, Butch Bradley didn't pay me twelve hundred dollars that he owed me. Yeah, I remember that. No, you really got to be fucked up for, especially if you're a feature. Yeah, you really got to be fucked up that they step in and go, "We got to call this fight right now." I mean, that's that's fucking amazing. And then the next day, and then what did he do? Drive home on his bike? I guess because the next day he couldn't <laughs> do the show at one o five because. He went out early in the morning to burn off that fucking uh to burn off that hangover and he got into a bike wreck. Yeah. Now he's in the hospital. I'd like to see some kind of a, a hospital uh, he's streaming bracelet. now. He's probably got a whole neck brace on and a cast and he's 
ankles elevated. I'd like to see some evidence. You know what that didn't happen. I mean, I mean, I ride my bike every day. First of all, if you get into a bike accident, you're almost never going to go to the hospital for observations. If if you go to the hospital, you're in bad shape. They're not going to check you out. Like he would be in bad shape if he was if he had to go to the hospital because he had a bike accident. He was not on his bike. Uh, I'm not getting this from Chad Prather. I'm How just, could you be? Yeah, if you were super hammered the night before how could you be out cycling early in the morning right like, 10 o'clock in the morning 10 o'clock in the morning because he said i don't know what time the tweet went out or or whatever whatever uh however he sent it out but he's apparently he doesn't tweet anymore well he's banned he's banned i guess for uh, a week. Uh, same <laughs> same no he's saying he's like i'm gonna take a break from twitter and twitter's like yeah you're gonna it's like chad probably said no you know i'm not gonna do the second show they're like yeah we just told you not gonna do the second show <laughs> So that's what he does at Twitter. You know, I'm going to take a break from Twitter after Twitter banned me for a week. Good call, Chad. Does he have, like, uh, scrapes on his knee from the accident or anything? He don't oh, have well. nothing. He Because he was he didn't want to do the show. He was probably hungover. He didn't want to do the show. Plus, when you do a show like Kumia's Cox, ask Carl. You got to do a little prep work. You can't just can't just go, uh, Kumia's Cox suck. You actually no, have to. Yep. Not like he pulls a up a YouTube video and stammers through it for ten minutes and then goes, "All right, well, that's enough of that." He never does that. No, I mean that's what that's what you're supposed to do, right? You can't just fucking you can't just talk about how all Kumia so uh, cuck suck. I mean that's why I don't yeah. do a show like that because I don't have you to fucking pull up clips. I don't I have to pull was, up clips. I thought after last week everything would kind of cool off. I couldn't believe the post this morning about like. I'm not giving up until well, he doesn't comes wait long. Down. He doesn't wait long at all before he flips out. Yeah, yeah. he's still he. We could have still lifted a band today. It's supposedly exactly. seven days. So Chad don't want us to lift a band because then he has no show. So then, 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 uh, you know, he knows the only way to do a show is this, where he snipe streams. He can't create any content of his own, so he has to snipe stream. So he doesn't even want to get the strike removed because he wants to play the victim. This was like a stupid bike accident. You know, Kevin, like like I ran him over in my fucking car. He basically named me seven times. And then, well, who hit you? How? Why didn't you name them in his bike accident? Did you just fall? He kept saying, Kevin, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin did this. Like I was driving, like we were on a tandem bike and I lost and I fucking ran into a tree and he got hurt. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> So he yeah, don't want he don't want I've, the strike removed because he wants to play the victim like Kevin's playing in the mud. This is terrible. We could have literally lifted it today, just like last week. He didn't want to get it lifted. He's like, "Did you check your spam? I sent it by U.S. mail. Did you check your Did you check your uh, FedEx? He wants it like this, so then he can be like, "Oh God, Kevin's so mean. He wouldn't lift the strike." My guess would be that he. Woke up, yeah. Just my guess from knowing how Chad works and lies about everything. My guess would be he woke up Sunday, didn't want to do a show because he's not monetized and the begging for Venmo and PayPal and stuff gets old. So he decided if I just say I was in a bike accident, I'll get donations. I won't even have to go live and I'll get sympathy donations. <laughs> but wow. then, so like, how do you come work. back today? How do you come back today and be like, I'm. I'm back in the ring ready for a fight. It's like, weren't you scraped up yesterday? Take a, take a day off. But He's I know it's liar. about me. I know it's about me. I know he hates that I'm on here. And just for the record, for everybody who fucking hates me out there, I told KB I didn't want to fucking do this. I told him I'd suck. I told him he doesn't so need Kevin's me. It's Kevin's fault. <laughs> it is. It is. I told Everything everybody. He just fault. kept throwing That's money. accident. He kept throwing money at me. You're so generous, Kevin. I do want to say my family is, we're doing so well over here. We got your package. It's going great. So just I again, new internet what daddy. You Thank you so much. Wait, uh, Mel, what, what was that thing last week? Was that a, was that a fake? Was that a, a Gavin McGinnis uh, spectacle where you, you served yourself? I don't know what you're talking Speaking about. Speaking of package, package, chat, pay, no, I didn't, no, that wasn't very, a package I sent you. It's very real, and uh, everyone will know everything very soon. I can't, you know. Who are you, Chad? No, he's got lawyers. I no, I, it's that. real, and I have lawyers, so I'm not yeah. going to give you, like, hints and make up shit. Just wait. Uh, I how many lawyers? You very how soon, lawyers? very soon. At least seven. Well, they now have after be... you're paying him all that money, he's got two now. Right. Yeah. I'll just I'll just pay the lawyer to save myself some trouble. <laughs> <laughs> right, Chad? Oh God. No, it's uh it's gonna be very funny, but people just have to wait a few weeks. 
How's it going to be funny? It's very funny. Trust me. Is it somebody from the northern country? I forget. <laughs> EPN five dollars. <laughs> WT. What the what the freak? KB. I thought you said you weren't having any more potatoes on. Bob is the only vegetable that should be on the on your sure. show. Are you saying he's a big? You're a big fat potato. Yeah. Uh, Bob, why are you have Bob? Bob, yeah. listen, it's not my business, but since I was forced to check out your show today, mm-hmm. uh, uh, you had Rob Saul and a fucking potato on. Uh, I I don't do that. I I don't do that. I just come up. I like how I Bob uh, Bob. Uh, no, I don't. Food. I don't know who's coming. Bob, on. you would have you, you might have you might have you would have made a great Nazi soldier. I don't. Uh, I don't. I, I just I don't. do what. I just do what I'm told. I just I pointed do what I'm to the told. shower. They followed my pointing, and they're dead. So you had nothing to do with Rob Saul. Who books Rob Saul? You got to have something to do with that, isn't he? On Levy Land, there was still? a fight or something, and we said get him on or something. I don't know. There was like, between was a potato with... and no, and no, not Rob a potato. Saul. No, there was not. The potato but wasn't fighting with Rob. Chris Abels is mad at Rob Saul because rob insulted his wife but Mm -hmm. people what what is with people who are like that like you talk about my wife all day it doesn't hurt me but people like want to travel and fight for like talking about somebody's wife i don't understand that yeah people like traveling (laughs) i don't wait rob saw us talking shit about chris abel's wife yeah they went at it melton started a pretty good fight with them (laughs) and it was a lot of fun and uh yeah it got pretty ugly we're in a chat room no on on leaving Leaving like like two weeks ago or something oh It kept going until next week. The next, but now week, they won't know. even talk. They won't even like be in the same room. Well, how did Melton to... start a fight between someone's wife and Rob Saul? Well, I just no, asked he a couple just questions. Got, he, he, yeah, he just asked a question about a date with Rob. What Chris said, and then next thing you know, they started screaming, and we just sat back and laughed <laughs> the whole fucking time. Wow, it was a lot of fun. Okay, uh, uh, seven up seven. Who you got on the game tonight? Hi, Chad. Hi, Chaz, oh, lawyer. Man. Well, you got to get in a game, Melton. I don't know any games. Take oh, you Boston. Don't. You're a big fat dude. Don't you know sports? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you catch you're a game big, last you're... Who has time? Who has time for that? Look, Doodle, the Piazza Redemption. Welcome to MLC, Mr. Melton. Finally, love, acceptance. See? Yeah, you were killing it the other night in Super Chats. What night was that, Friday or Saturday? Yeah, Friday we decided we were going to let people super chat to ban people from the chat <laughs> really That's and then we good. just got like 800 bucks in like 20 minutes but they, no but it wasn't even that people are just giving you money uh and it was Kevin, even before- i'm beloved you're gonna make so much you're gonna get so much back by having me on the super gonna chat's gonna huge. come in melton melton we love like you ever see rudy that's yeah. me yeah that's Wait, the only you, sports. You, you watch sports <laughs> movies but but not sports yeah, yeah. i'm in the narrative He's not in good enough shape to watch sports, only movies. Hey, Mr. White, good. No DeVito on today. DeVito is mentally ill. Uh, yeah. Melton, you're you're a pal of Ray DeVito. Ray De- I, I told Ray DeVito, I said, whatever you do, start a show on the top of the hour. Don't Because he always wants to start a show at 9.30 or 11 or whatever. He picks the most random times. And then you leave him alone? Yesterday, <laughs> sure, I started a show with, you you started show at 8.30. 8.30. <laughs> So 8 30. He's an idiot. I feel like bugging you. He's dumber than your dad. He's this is gonna be a good dad. this is gonna be a good matchup because I'm gonna calm you down. Your wife's gonna thank me. Yeah. I'm uh, bring Bjorn, peace in you, your life. Did you say what Kumia said about Ray last week? Yeah, he didn't say anything good. I have nothing good to say about Ray. I try to help Ray, and then I say, Ray, start the show at the same time every day. And and if you don't start the show at the same time, at least don't start at the half hour. And Ray's like I'm going to start at the half hour. Then he sent me a link like I'm going to jump on. Yeah. yeah, like I don't better shit to do. I'd rather fucking. Hey, you know what? Speaking of, uh, 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 you know, uh, if anyone sends me a $5 super chat today off of something I stole from the BS show, I'm going to finger my own asshole. I got wow. the Vaseline ready to go. You yeah, for $5. Oh. But wait for $50. I'll suck my own cock. <laughs> wait a minute. How did you get him in there? <laughs> DK, $50. NLO is the best. Don't remove the strikes or I'll put the plug on Levy's pool. Damn, this guy's guy's getting everybody's business. 
pull pull the plug. Oh yeah, he's he's always in our chat. He's a good new guy. But I Thank I think you, it's DK. Little Mirror. I think Little Mirror is all these guys. I don't care. I I, <laughs> I don't have time to figure it out. Bob, is your pool done? Uh, we'll have till tonight. To now it's midnight. You said no, midnight. No, no, it's got it. No, it's got to be today, right? No, midnight. It's well, someone, you're going to be Day. swimming in the pool at midnight. Well, yeah, I'll have my pictures. I will send pictures? everybody my. How, how are we going to know it's your pool? Because it'll be me in the backyard in my backyard. It either has water in it or no, it doesn't. No, you got to be in the pool. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Does it have water in it? Yeah. Okay. How much is it, is it how, full? Is the hose it, in it, it right now? <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah, talk okay, about it. Okay. <laughs> Phil, motherfucker. I got the neighbor's fucking hose. Yeah, yeah, I got you that do. neighbor's hose. Fire uh, hydrant. Fire, yeah, <laughs> no, he's fire, got the fire department there. Mm -hmm. No fucking. You can get a truck. Me. You can get like a water truck to come out and fill can, it like pretty yeah, quick. Yeah, you can get the fire department can come too. But somebody's house thing. burns down because Bob had to swim at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, your family had, died. Bob had to get his money from Borgo. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna send them Bob all is my, resting. Uh, my Venmo. Shh, Bob is resting between shows from Detroit by Dark. Get, I don't rest for nothing, motherfucker. <laughs> That's so funny. Always what going. is this uh, out of the coffin now? You're doing that every night? No, 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 no. I'm doing no. it Wednesday night this week because I'm yeah. working this weekend. Yeah, Bob. That's another thing. What, what, what do you, what do you, you do it? You, do, you did it uh, out of the coffin today. Once, sometimes you do it no, at once. Sometimes no, no, you do it. At no, I was trying it in the day. It's, it doesn't work in the day. It's a nighttime show. Andrea, ten dollars. But then on you MLC. do what? Hold on. Then you do one today at one o'clock. No, I thought no. you said you were promoting. I saw you promoting it today at one o'clock. No, that was going to be tonight at nine. But no, I'm not going on tonight. I'm going Wednesday. Go at nine twenty-five. Well, yeah, I don't respect Ray. Ray in five well. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get in five minutes before Ray. But he doesn't do the same time. He does eleven. He does ten. He does nine. Did you see him? Did you see him Saturday? He rejected Ari Jane again. She brought up yeah. that there were a good chance they could date, and he was like, "All right, all right, all right." Anyway, anyway, he can't. He hates it. He he might be a piazza. He no, might be asexual. Just, no, he's These just guys a are asexual. It's just arrested development. He can't he, with the baseball cards and the he can't do any. He's got to start at nine thirty, then ten. He's just like he's like a child. Well, I yeah, don't. He's gonna bring her back to his his room with his pink blanket. Like, where's yeah. he gonna bring a girl? Well, yeah, he's not gonna she... take her out. He, he doesn't really have the money to take to you know to court a woman. He can't. If he started yeah. on time, he would. If he did a show at eleven o'clock every day, <laughs> probably could. But I Apple think want, I think he doesn't want enough money to court a woman. I don't think oh, he yeah. wants to be involved with a lady because he knows that's a lot of responsibility. Trust me, it's a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. You uh, get like an appetizer and two entrees for twenty five bucks at Applebee's in Ohio. Yeah, Applebee's he, is great because you get yeah. you can get three you get the three little things the the three and it's mini all happy hour all day. Yeah, I love that. Uh, Andrea, ten dollars men on MLC. I'm so excited. Please tell me to relax, Patrick. Relax. <laughs> He's already got a hook. <laughs> His first day, he's got a hook. Melton, say relax. Yeah. <laughs> John what Ross, Neil sucks. A uh, shout out to Bert Kreischer. His movie actually made a little bit of money. It did way better than the female brain. I don't think it did ten million, but uh, it didn't. It wasn't. I thought it would do five. Would it million. do five or seven, something like it that. It probably did close to ten. It, it it didn't do. That's not great, and it, it won't won't make any money money after the first weekend. But that's still it cost I it twenty. Make, yeah, it cost 20. 20. I don't think it cost 20, did it? Yeah, that was the budget, I think. Yeah, but then doesn't a the theater get half the money right off the bat? I don't know. I don't work there anymore. At the theater? <laughs> yeah, I don't make the deals down there. <laughs> I think the theater gets half the money right off the bat because it's like if you know, with no theater, you're fucked. American Cupcake. Kevin, if you were a member of the Shilly Network, you'd be seeing how wrong you are, bro. Reverend Levy, hi hey there, sweetheart. What's Wait, what, what? How would I see? I see how wrong I was, bro. Because I, that didn't happen today. What you said, like there was nobody was getting doing shots for fucking. I don't. I know saw them drinking, Bob. I saw them drinking. But we planned on drinking a long time ago on this day. But like, I, why? I didn't why? Really drink because it was Memorial Day. Celebrate, you know. But I didn't drink because I wasn't feeling well. No, but they said you had it. You had it. They were saying send us five dollars yeah. super chats and we'll do a shot. 
No, never happened. All right, I'm now going to have to watch the whole show. Do you know okay. how many shots you'd have to do if you did a shot? For three. Three. Rivers? They'd have to do three. <laughs> we, only, we, we don't get no soup at Chick-fil-A. Got that's why, exactly. That's why you're doing it. That's why you got to do it. You got to beg. It's, <laughs> it's the end of the month. It's when the cops write all the tickets at the end of the month. <laughs> It's the end of the Jesus. month. Julie knows he's not going to be able to make payroll. So he's like, let's do shots. What I mean, you fuck? don't have to be a fucking uh, Chad Zumok to figure this shit out. <laughs> Carnegie. Hey, yeah. have you seen Bert's movie? He's rich and famous now like Neil. I like how people make their own assumptions. Bert was already so making well. money. Bert was already making money. I guess I have to have a shot because he sent uh, $4.99. Well, then, in that's, that's, and that's probably that's more than five. Uh, you didn't go see the movie. First of all, Neil's not Nobody famous, <laughs> and uh, and but Bert is. Bert, Bert's not famous. Like I actually heard it. Say, they were saying on the news or something. Like they said, they did the top five. They were saying, um, they were like the number one movie was uh little. I almost said Little Mirror, uh, the <laughs> Little Mermaid. Yeah. So they were talking about like the different movies, and then they said, and coming in number five was the machine. Like they didn't say anything about it. Nobody, nobody knows who Burt Kreischer is. Like Bert has some diehard fans, obviously, but nobody really knows Burt Kreischer. That's it's not the, enough to carry a movie. No, that's what I figured. Like he no. people would his fans would go to see it, but he didn't have enough fans. He doesn't like it's not like people know him, like they know Dave Chappelle or Bill Cosby. Addicted to Super Chat. She was there or he was there. She, I don't even know. I guess that's a fee, a male name, Addicted to Super Chats. Uh, they were kind of, yeah. they came, they came in big on Saturday, if I, if I recall, but I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe <laughs> it was last week. <laughs> no, I just can't remember. That's why I take pictures. <laughs> Adam, Kevin said you'll give me a Cleveland steamer. <laughs> that's my fake laugh. <laughs> now we got everything. I got my fake lamp. They got the dogs barking. I know what I said. That's not true. A Cleveland steamer. Somebody takes a shit on your chest and then uh, and then leaves. No, I yeah. think they do. No, more they can than stay. That. Yeah, <laughs> you can have a coffee or some milk. <laughs> I would definitely stay. I'd stick around. So wait, that's all they do? They take a shit on your chest, and that's the end of it. It's not funny till it's cold. <laughs> I think that's you. Don't you breast bang them then? Is that what it is? I do. Fuck? <laughs> breast bang them? Where were you with from the, the 30s? The breast bang the dude. I'm trying to work clean, Kevin. It's, a, it's called a titty fuck. We're being watched. You want to take the log of shit and titty fuck yourself with it? <laughs> okay. I, I actually had my drapes uh, done uh, by the Cleveland steamer, and uh, they did a really <laughs> shitty job. They Get it? Puns, puns all over the place. Uh, no, isn't that a, isn't that a name of a, a carpet cleaning company, Cleveland Steamers? No, that's uh, or was that sure a is. was that a WNBA team, the Cleveland you're, Steamers? You're thinking of Stanley Steamers. Stanley, Stanley Steamers. Steamers. Yeah. Their jingle is literally coming in my head right now. EGN, KB, aren't you worried? Starbucks will sue you about the star fucker shirt. You <laughs> might not get hired. No money. You you might not get hired. I'm wearing the old one right here. Yeah, we're gonna get sued by Starbucks, and we're gonna have to go to court. That'll be terrible for business. A, po a new podcast gets sued by Starbucks. That would be terrible. Fucking idiot. We'll have to we'll have to give them dozens of dollars in recompense. Uh, Mason of Portland, happy to have you on. Melton Chad needs to serve time in Con College. It might toughen him up. What's Con College? It's like Clown College, but it just teaches each other like instead of like balloons and stuff you learn how to pick pockets and stand, <laughs> stand up in court with no pants on stanley steamer what is he doing i really i i want chad to re be redeemed but I, he's watching this like he's just watching this and talking about it i don't know i, I thought he, he wasn't going to but well, that's what he threatened but I, you know, I, chill about it today he doesn't seem that upset wait, wait he's a loser he can't even keep a fucking shitty uh, feature gig. All he has to do is not get hammered. I think he's. I think he has really has a problem with alcohol, you know, because uh, Carl and his crew were saying that show where uh, he James O'Sullivan and he was the one-eyed James O'Sullivan. Uh, they like he he was probably on some kind of drugs. He looks like he's under the influence of some kind of narcotics. I just think he's a fucking raging alcoholic. If you can't fucking finish a gig. As a feature, you got a problem with alcohol. That's a fact. I mean, 
I, I've, I've, it's almost, I don't know if I've ever remembered somebody getting fired from a he said gig he was headlining. Yeah, of he said course he, was... he said he's headlining. That's, that's, he's always lying. Everything he says is a lie. You can have him. Anybody who wants him, the Shilly Network, <laughs> uh, Melton, he's a fucking lying piece of shit. So it doesn't matter. It's not true. It doesn't matter what he says. It, it, it's everything's a lie or some kind of, uh, you know, and, and the bike, even fans of his with the, with the falling at the bike accident, they were like, Chad, just say you can't do the show. Even they're like, not even his fucking, uh, that Gina Bobima piece of shit. Even she don't, even, she's not even sticking by him anymore. These fucking people that are like, we got to stand by our man, Chad. I'm team mud shark. And even that are like, you didn't get in a bike, guy. You didn't Did get he post any bike. pictures. Of, of course like, not. No, not no. even a fucking. Not even a fucking bracelet, bracelet from the yeah. from the from the Tampa General Hospital. Not even a boo boo. No, no, no pictures. Just a statement about how he's uh, you know, he liked to a show today, but Kevin cut him off when he was on the road, and uh, and then he rode into a tree and et cetera. But Just, I also love that he he uh he's back to stream sniping today, and he's like. But last week he was like, I have a new concept for a new afternoon show. I can't even tell you what it is yet. It's such a good idea. What is that? Just out the window now? Back to stream what sniping. Was, he was never going to do anything throw else. Throw the good idea away. Throw the good idea away. He can't do anything but that. What else could he do? I Monday's know, but that's major? what's funny. That's what's or funny. That, he thinks that, that those Tyler? are all distinct brands, like Tuesdays with Tyson and all that stuff. It's like... You get a hundred viewers on that stuff. You get four hundred on MLC because people are watching MLC through your show. Yeah. But he doesn't do that math. He really thinks it's like no, these are Chad, Chad fans, and it's like Chad. When you have when you have uh, three hundred comments on your on your post, but three likes, <laughs> like that doesn't anything. No, all right. I he didn't even it. wait till today. That's the whole thing. He didn't even wait till Monday to see what was happening. He he broke on Sunday. What was it, not, Sunday or Saturday? Yeah, not even a week, and he's already back to being the mud shark. And it's like, by the way, you can't be the mud shark. When you when Ray's even calling you out saying you're not the mud shark anymore, it's like, you can't be the mud shark. You almost cried on here for two hours, and you had nothing. You called everybody a liar, and then when they said, give me one thing I lied about, you had nothing. I you crumbled for three hours begging and crying and now you're back to the mud shark again no thanks we're good on mud shark over here We've yeah he, the, like, he can't do anything but that all he can do he can't create any content we all know that so all he can do is snipe stream hit the like button you piazzas <laughs> for the soldiers addicted i can't soldiers. stand a potato worst no talent on funny hack ever i agree a total hack Chad Spike stories about his real as the Easter Bunny. I mean, the Chad, the fact that the fact that Chad, uh, after he just got a black eye, after he just got this and just got that, now he's in a bike wreck, and 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 lo and behold, now he can't do the 105 on uh, 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 Kumia's Cox. How 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 convenient for him? It'd be but no the, evidence, no pictures, no hospital, no nothing. It'd be funny if the bike accident looks exactly like the eye punch. He's all covered with oil, <laughs> and he's like. It's yeah. like, oh, that's what happened the first time too. You fell off your bike. No, I think that's what that's where he got the idea because everyone was saying maybe he fell off his bike and he got he had oil on his finger and then he was rubbing his eye. But Addicted, from huh? From the chain. That's what. Yeah, but Tony did. was saying that last week, so maybe he was like, you know what? I think my next thing that happens to me is going to be a bike wreck, with no pictures and no hospital. But you don't go to you don't go to a hospital with a bike wreck unless you're ra unless you're really racked up, pun intended. And there's a bone hanging Also, out yeah, did the ambulance take your bike to the hospital for you? Do you leave it on the side of the road? Did the cops impound it? Where yeah. does the bike go? Did you drag you your lock bike it up to the to hospital? A tree. You drag it. Yeah, to a tree you drag and lock it to it the hospital. Like what the? F it's all like none of it makes any sense. And and then by the way, you get to the hospital, and the first thing you do is go, no show today. <laughs> also, you guys are untalented bitches. It's like, is the nurse? With with you right now can you put your phone down you can't use He's a like, phone you can't even use a cell phone in a hospital put liar down. put your you phone can't. down you, you don't understand what kevin's doing <laughs> i can see him arguing with her yeah he's trying to talk to nurse can you put it can you write it, Nurse Ratchet? Say that oh. Kevin's mean and he's been killing my show, and that's why I got into a bike accident. Yeah, it's fucking, it's fucking laughable. Yeah, what would they do with the bike if you're getting into a bike accident? You have to go to, the, you have to the ambulance. They put the bike they on the top. Keep it of the in ambulance. the ER. Yeah, they just keep it in the ER. They have a bike shop there. They actually fix it while you're while you're yeah. getting a Snoopy. Sometimes band they put it in the bed next to you if they have room. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Addicted. I was dying on Friday when when Bob said to put Chad under a light and ask him what's up. The skanks would love to test their lie detector on him. Wait, they have a lie detector? They might. He'll never come. I, I would have loved that, but he'll never come up and because he's basically bending the knee. He has to come up there and bend the knee to you and admit he was wrong. Yeah, but at this point, I, I know he's lying about everything. I, I don't take him on his word on anything. So, so uh, you know, if he wants to come up, I know he'll fail the fucking thing. I he'll fail us. worse than Chris Watts and that from Colorado. The this guy, part. this guy will, this guy, he didn't murder his family allegedly, but he will fail worse than Chris Watts. They'll start laughing at him. He'll get nothing right. The best part last week was when he was like, I, I, I don't know. I got, I'm, I got nothing. I'm sorry, guys. And you go, well, you don't have to feel sorry for yourself. He goes, I'm not sorry. And it's like, well, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, he flip flops. <laughs> uh, have Memorial Day. Bob is the pool full of water. Well, let me take a look and see. It's going up, but <laughs> I don't know if it's full yet. <laughs> got They're literally up. filling it now as we speak. Of course they are. Is that why you didn't drink uh, uh, on Super Chats on BS Show? Because you want to stay sober for the pool guy? From my neighbor's house. Yeah, they haven't showered in days to, to keep all the water <laughs> pressure out to the hose. <laughs> I'm hoping I, it I, rains. <laughs> technically, you can swim in one foot of water. You never said it had to be full. You never had all well, those that, details. That, there's a lot of rules that we don't no, you gotta be able. You got to be able to do a cannonball in it. Okay. Do you have a diving board, Bob? No. Yeah, they don't First make all, them anymore. Could Bob do a cannonball? This is back to cannonball. school. <laughs> <laughs> he could do one. Are you kidding? <laughs> Dean, thank you, Dean. Okay, uh, uh, addicted Mel. I, I like you, but stop with predictions. Chad and Gino, great team. <laughs> Chad should be on the show once a week. Your predictions are as good as Chad's act. I, this guy must do a lot of coke or something. I, I like him. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but he thinks. I was trying to get Chad and Gino together for the lulls, you idiot. Stop taking everything so literally. They're like, he's publicly, he hasn't shut up and kept going, oh my God, you think Chad and Gino would be good together? And I, I want to yell like, shut the fuck up and let this happen. And, well, and wait, he's so too dumb to get the bit. Yeah, it's a bit. You didn't of think course it would be, wouldn't good, be good together. It'd be hilarious shut though. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so wait, so you, you never thought so? it'd be good. You just did it all as a bit. I say a million things is just yeah. a bit. He thinks everything's real. This is the internet. Get fucked. <laughs> yeah, but then how are we supposed to believe that package you got was not a bit? Which package? The uh, package exactly. might make sure. <laughs> you look, it may be. It may be all a scam. Yeah. You came back, your heart was racing. I was yeah. like, Holy yeah, it's, shit. it's, it's real. And, and you'll find out all about it. Bob it's, thought you're getting divorced. He thought you got, I served. Thought people that still would, think that people that, still I thought think that would be the big one because on, on your anniversary, that would be, no, he just got married. Show, Who's going to do that on a, on a, while he's doing his show earlier in the show. I said that we were going out that night and we had plans. Yeah. So like, that'd be crazy, but yeah. people still think it is. People think I'm lying about that. So yeah, I'm getting a divorce. Are you Sin married? Cynthia, I forget. No, but you are legally married. You do have a wife. Yeah, I don't believe anything anymore. Mike, yeah. that's this is what this is what hang around Chad did to me. This isn't even a studio. I'm in Minnesota right now. <laughs> He's doing <laughs> field to show. At least you don't put uh like Chad does uh uh Mud Shark Loves Misery with Kevin Brennan. He don't even put his name. It's only my name's on the screen. It's like, man, come on, man. Don't drag me into your fucking uh, uh, nonsense. Mike Lasley, KB, this is hilarious. Having Melton on for Memorial Day. Are you going to have Godfrey on for St. Patrick's Day? Show us the pool, Bob. Midnight. I can't I get like Godfrey that's on. that's an insult. Chad's running out of friends, I think, is my point. Because, uh, Do you the think one, Godfrey's his friend? Uh, the one, uh, Chad, Godfrey don't use him. The one uh, the one club he could rely on was side splitters. So if, and I, there, Chad prayed there's no reason to lie. So if so, if he's in trouble with side splitters, and now he, Chad Prather won't use him, and probably uh, uh, Florentine has probably had it with Chad after that last gig they did, where Chad uh, wasn't available for whatever reason. Uh, Ronnie loves MLC. I'll tell you, judging by Melton's size, he self serves himself all the time. Got him. I uh, my favorite thing of Chad's now is like how he's like. I'm done doing stand up. I'm all about this streaming stuff. I'm having success. I'm making money at it. And then he's like, also like telling everybody, I got plenty of dates coming up. It's like, well, which is it? You either are quitting stand up, but you keep bringing up how Ski Mask called the Bahamas and ruined your gig and you're not welcome back at that club. 
And then you, like, he constantly talks about work, but he constantly says, I'm done doing stand up. I'm not even trying to get booked. It's like, you can't get booked. He's like, me, I'm not proud of it. I can't get booked anywhere. No one's into me, despite my new album coming out June 9th. Pick it up now. Go get it. But wait, no wait, they made they made that against your will? No, that was just a I was just fucking around. That was another bit? Yes. What the <laughs> fuck, man? I said that an incident happened at my special and that it will never be put out, and people have talked about it for six months. Right. What was the incident at special? Nothing! It went great! Pick it up. <laughs> so wait, that. so that you made that up too? Yes. I wonder if Chad considers you a mentor. <laughs> Wait, so you just make up shit and you don't even feel bad? I made up that something happened at my special to get people Yeah, but I believe it. I believe <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> you believe we've been doing shots for $5. <laughs> I know that's I know that's I know that's true. I know that's yeah, true. mine didn't involve anybody blaming Kumia Country. I didn't go, <laughs> Kumia Country came and sabotaged my album. <laughs> Ronnie King, things Chad doesn't know how to do. Ride a bike, forward an email, stay sober enough to do comedy, get big laughs, satisfy a woman, lose weight even though you go to a gym every day, wear pants for court, be a man. Thank you. And this is from Ronnie King, who wants everybody to just get along. Chad, I was thinking, Chad don't never had a girlfriend. This is we're talking about 20, 30 years. He's never really had a girlfriend that he can. That he can say, yeah, you know, the one that got away. Even Ray DeVito, pathetic Ray DeVito, and Adam call this episode pathetic Ray DeVito. Uh, is uh, he's had girlfriends that got away? This this girl from Michigan, she got away, and now she's making herself available again. And Ray's trying to get her, let her get away again. And uh, but Chad's never even had a girlfriend to speak of, you know, like a girlfriend from his past. Not even a fiance or anything. Not even nothing. Not well, even a serious girlfriend. Well, I was talking to my wife about it, and she said that they both put up a very creepy vibe. But Ray comes off as like just pathetic, and Chad comes off as creepy, like you wouldn't want to walk to your car with this guy. Absolutely, but still, to never have a girlfriend—that's pretty hard to pull off. Hitler had a girlfriend, and yeah. and she was and well known. And a dog. Yeah. Ace. Hey, KB, huge fan here. And, I, and I'm sure don't you, I'm sure you don't know me, but anywho, I don't even know. These these things get harder to read. Hey, KB, huge fan here. I'm sure you, you I'm sure don't know me, but anywho, MLC just keeps getting better. Melton Mondays is genius until the backstabbing, of course. <laughs> now the backstabbing will be the best part, and it'll just be a bit because I don't even trust Melton at this point. <laughs> Everything's fake with this Melton guy. Even the confetti. I mean everything. I'm like, how I, I'm such a dude. I'm such a rube. I'm like, so what happened with your special? It was it it, it your it was it was released on, on even though you're protesting. It was no, it's a bit. No, it's a bit. But but the stupid package you got last week is not a bit. It's Until not, it is. Until I, it is. Pr KB, I promise on everything holy in our relationship, you can you can fire me and never have me on again. That's not a bit. The papers. Yeah, it looked real. That looked. It's real. the Vegas Accord. Yeah, <laughs> and it was thick. You said it was thick. It's pretty thick. It's probably thirty pages. Jesus! Wow. Uh, double sided or single sided? I don't know. I didn't code. What you it, do, so. uh, Blanky Jedi? What time is the potato on? The potato <laughs> will never be on the show. Uh, any, any any show that has a potato on is sad. It, it's just. I mean, I don't know who's sad or Rob Saul nice or a guy. fucking potato. Who gives a fuck? He's yeah. a potato. Show yeah. your face. Show your face.